St. Luke's Bariatric Manual, Chapter 2, Lesson Plan 4. Continue to follow Lesson Plan 1, 2, and 3. Continue no drinking 30 minutes before eating. Continue no drinking while eating, and begin to wait 30 minutes after eating before you start to drink again. This is in preparation for the 30-60 minute rule you will need to follow after surgery. Make your meals last 20 minutes. Chew each bite 30 to 35 times. Drink at least four 8-ounce glasses of water every day. Follow week 3 of walking plan. Below, chart your successes, your challenges, your objective for next month, and your weight. Cholesterol and your health. General information. What is cholesterol? Cholesterol is a waxy, fat-like substance that is made by your body. Cholesterol also comes from the foods you eat. Your body needs this fat to work properly, but high levels of cholesterol can lead to health problems. What are the risks of unhealthy cholesterol levels? Cholesterol can build up in your arteries and form plaque. As plaque builds up, your arteries become narrow and less blood flows through. When plaque decreases blood flow to your heart, you may have chest pain. If plaque completely blocks an artery that carries blood to your heart, you may have a heart attack. Plaque buildup can also increase your risk of a stroke. How are unhealthy levels of cholesterol managed? Your healthcare provider will use blood tests to measure your levels of triglycerides, LDL, bad cholesterol, and HDL, good cholesterol. He will ask if you or your family members have other health conditions, such as diabetes, high blood pressure, or thyroid disease. He will also ask if you smoke. He will recommend treatments to help decrease your risk of heart disease, heart attack, and stroke. Treatment includes changes to foods you eat and lifestyle changes. You may also need medicine to decrease your cholesterol levels. How does food affect my cholesterol levels? Unhealthy fats increase LDL cholesterol levels in your blood. These fats are found in foods that are high in cholesterol, saturated fat, and trans fat. Cholesterol is found in eggs, dairy, and meat. Saturated fat is found in butter, cheese, ice cream, whole milk, and coconut oil. Saturated fat is also found in meat such as sausage, hot dogs, and bologna. Trans fat is found in liquid vegetable oil and is used in fried and baked foods. Foods that contain trans fat include chips, crackers, muffins, sweet rolls, microwave popcorn, and cookies. Healthy fats, also called unsaturated fats, help lower LDL cholesterol and triglyceride levels. Monounsaturated fats are found in foods such as olive oil, canola oil, avocado, nuts, and olives. Polyunsaturated fats, such as omega-3 fats, help to decrease triglyceride levels. Omega-3 fats are found in fish, such as salmon, trout, and tuna. They can also be found in plant-based foods such as flaxseed, walnut, and soybeans. What changes can I make to the foods I eat? Decrease the total amount of fat you eat. Choose lean meats, fat-free or 1% fat milk, and low-fat dairy products such as yogurt and cheese. Replace unhealthy fats with healthy fats. Cook foods in olive oil or canola oil. Choose soft margarines that are low in saturated fat and have little or no trans fat. Include fish in your diet. Eat two servings of fish each week. One serving is about four ounces. Fish is a good source of healthy omega-3 fats. Salmon and canned light tuna are fish with low levels of mercury. Children and pregnant women should not eat fish that have high levels of mercury, such as shark, swordfish, and king mackerel. Eat a variety of fruits and vegetables. Include dark colored fruits and vegetables such as peaches, berries, spinach, and carrots. They are good sources of vitamins that are important for good health. Eat more fiber. Choose whole grain, high fiber foods to decrease LDL cholesterol. Good choices include legumes, oats, apples, and Brussels sprouts. Oranges, carrots, and whole wheat breads or cereals are also good choices. What lifestyle changes can I make to improve my cholesterol levels? Maintain a healthy weight. Ask your healthcare provider how much you should weigh. 
Ask him to help you create a weight loss plan if you are overweight. Weight loss can decrease your total cholesterol and triglyceride levels. Decrease the amount of calories you eat by 500 calories a day to help you lose weight. You can decrease calories by eating smaller portions for each meal and eating fewer high calorie foods. Exercise regularly to lower your cholesterol levels and maintain a healthy weight. Get 30 or more moderate exercise five days each week. Include muscle strengthening activities two days each week, such as push-ups, sit-ups, and lifting weight. To lose weight, get at least 60 minutes of exercise on most days of the week. Work with your healthcare provider to plan the best exercise program for you. High fiber diet, general information. What is a high fiber diet? A high fiber diet includes foods that have large amounts of fiber. Fiber is the part of fruits, vegetables, and grain that is not broken down by your body. Fiber keeps your bowel movements regular. Soluble fiber may help lower your cholesterol. Soluble fiber is found in oats, beans, peas, and certain fruits and vegetables, oranges, pears, Brussels sprouts, and carrots. You may need to eat more high fiber foods if you have constipation, diverticulosis, or high cholesterol. What foods are good sources of fiber? The amount of fiber that most adults should have in their diet is 20 to 35 grams per day. Talk to your dietitian or caregiver about the amount of fiber that you should have each day. Foods with at least four grams of fiber per serving. One third to one half cup of high fiber cereal. Check the nutrition label on the box. One half cup of blackberries or raspberries. Four dried prunes. One cooked artichoke. One half cup of cooked legumes such as lentils or red, kidney, and pinto beans. Foods with one to three grams of fiber per serving. One slice of whole wheat, pumpernickel, or rye bread. One half cup cooked brown rice. Four whole wheat crackers. One cup of oatmeal. One half cup of cereal with one to three grams of fiber per serving. Check the nutrition label on the box. One piece of fruit, such as an apple, banana, pear, kiwi, or orange. Three dates. One half cup of canned apricots, fruit cocktail, peaches, or pears. One half cup of raw or cooked vegetables, such as carrots, cauliflower, cabbage, spinach, squash, or corn. What other diet guidelines should I follow? Add fiber to your diet slowly. You may have abdominal discomfort, bloating, and gas if you add fiber to your diet too quickly. Drink plenty of liquid as you add fiber to your diet. You should drink at least eight eight ounce cups of water each day. If you do not drink enough water, you will develop constipation. Ask your caregiver or dietitian about tablets or liquid drops that contain cimethicone. These can help decrease gas. Check with your caregiver before you use over-the-counter products to decrease bloating or abdominal discomfort. Care Agreement You have the right to plan your care. Discuss treatment options with your caregiver to decide what care you want to receive. You always have the right to refuse treatment. Fitting exercise and physical activity into your day. To get the most out of exercise and physical activity, they need to be a regular part of your life. Here are some tips to help you put physical activity at the top of your to-do list every day. Make it a priority. Remember that being active is one of the most important things you can do each day to maintain and improve health. Try being active first thing in the morning before you get too busy. Make it easy. You are more likely to exercise if it's a convenient part of your day. Walk the entire mall or every aisle of the grocery store when you go shopping. Join a gym that's close to your home and easy to get to. Take one or more flights of stairs up and two down. Make it social. Many people agree that an exercise buddy keeps them going. Take a walk during lunch with coworkers. Try a dance class, salsa, tango, square dancing, it's up to you. Make it fun. Do things you enjoy, but pick up the pace a bit. If you love the outdoors, try biking or hiking. Listen to music while you garden or wash the car. Make it happen. Choose to be active in many places and many ways. Get off the bus one or two stops early and walk the rest of the way. Do toe stands or wall push-ups while you're waiting for your spouse to get ready to go out. Quick tip, try scheduling 30 minutes of exercise every day. 
mark it on your calendar. Visit www.nia.nih.gov slash go for life. Order a free exercise guide or DVD. Read tips and print useful tools. Share your exercise story. Be physically active without spending a dime. You don't need to spend a fortune to be physically active. In fact, you can be active in many ways without spending any money. Here are a few ideas to get you moving for free. Close to home. Get some exercise and socialize with friends while walking the entire mall. Get your garden and yard in shape and you'll shape up too. Make your own weights from household items. Plastic milk jugs filled with sand or water, bags of rice, soup cans, or bottles of water. Rather than driving, walk when doing errands. In your community. Try out free demonstration exercise classes at your local senior center or fitness center. Participate in community-sponsored fun runs or walks. Join a basketball or baseball league that plays at your community center. In the great outdoors. Go for a hike in a park. Learn about trees and plants while exploring a local arboretum. Help your community by participating in stream cleanup effort. All year round. Borrow a bicycle and ride around the neighborhood to admire the spring flowers. Play an early morning tennis match at your community courts in the summer. Jog through the park and breathe in the crisp fall air. Go sledding or cross-country skiing in the winter. Quick tip. Be creative. The only limit to free physical activity opportunities is your imagination. Visit www.nia.nih.gov slash go for life. Read more tips for adding physical activity to your day. Print useful tools. Order a free exercise guide or DVD. Share your exercise story.